few of all people have seen the consequences of gun violence. Where, if any, should there be a limitation in the Second Amendment? I'm not going to do anything during my presidency to take people's guns away. I, I do want to say this, that gun violence, particularly against children, is unacceptable. And we need to end that. One of the things we also ought to be investigating is why this is happening. Because we've always had abundance of guns in this country in the past. 20 years, there's been no uh, uh, per capita increase in the amount of guns we have. And yet these killings, these mass killings, have exploded. And we need to look at, um, you know, at other reasons for that as well, a, a, a potential reason. NIH has not studied uh, the etiology or the cause of gun violence for, since 1996. And NIH needs to be studying them to see if there's connections to some of the SSRI and psychiatric drugs people are taking, whether there's connections to video games. There's other countries that have comparable numbers of guns that we have, for example, Switzerland, which has, is comparable, it's not as many. But the last mass shooting they had in Switzerland was 21 years ago. We have them every 21 days. Something is happening, and you know, it, that's not a political statement, that's just an observation that anybody with a brain can make and ask the question, are there other things causing this? When I was a kid, you know, there were gun clubs at, shooting clubs at our schools where you know, kids would bring their 22s into school and nobody ever blinked at that and nobody was shooting kids. What happened? It's something else happening and we need to look at that realistically and not just dismiss that as a, you know, a, as a political ploy. But let's all ask this question together as Americans. Is there something else that explains this?